This is Leo Claudia with Malice to Adnan. We're here at Winter Haven, Florida today, China Lake Stadium, the spring training base of the Boston Red Sox. And it's indeed a pleasure to have as our guest, a friend of long standing, a fellow who carved quite a niche for himself in baseball along with his brothers. I'd like to welcome to our show, Dom DiMaggio. Welcome, Dom. Leo, how are you today? I uh, you see you're nice and uh, suntan. You're having a very nice vacation. Uh, Dom, it's the only thing I've picked up so far is a good suntan. Dom, uh, you're back here to teach the youngsters at Winter Haven how to play that outfield? That's just about what it amounts to, Leo. Uh, most of the boys here are products of uh, the last four or five years. I'm speaking now of LaHood and uh, uh, Billy Canigliaro. And, of course, Tony, Reggie, and Carl are all uh, products of recent years. And so they know pretty much what to do and how to handle themselves. There is one young fellow down here by the name of Oglevy. And I've uh, been doing a little work with him, and he looks like a pretty good hitter. He's, first, he's just had one year out, and it uh, uh, looks like he might be a pretty good ball player at some time in the future. How old is he now, now? I think he just turned 20. Is that so? And he looks like a good prospect to you. Yes, he does. He's a pretty good hitter, and uh, he was an infielder, but did play last year in the outfield. Already we have uh, detected a number of uh, little rough points that we uh, expect to polish. Dom, um, uh wasn't so long ago that the famous DiMaggio family, Joe, Dom, and Vince, were a big part of Major League Baseball. Uh, what are they all doing now? Well, Joe, for example, is out in Mesa with the Oakland Ball Club. I don't believe he's going to stay with them for the full year. He's agreed to go to spring training with them. Uh, after spring training, he'll devote most of his time to his personal interests. Vince, uh, we still have out in San Francisco. We haven't connected with a restaurant out there. And, of course, I'm here. He's minding the store, in other words. He's minding the store, that's right. <laughs> Dom, uh, how long ago was it since you last wore a Red Sox uniform and played baseball in it, so to speak? The last game I played for the Sox was sometime in May of 1953, and I left uh, uh, during the month of May of 1953, and have been out of course ever since. Dom, um, it looked as though today you could step into the breach, so to speak, and do a creditable job. Well, funny you should mention that, Leo, because for the first time today I uh, took a couple of swings in batting practice. Uh, it was near the end of uh, batting practice on the opposite field, and I had the young young fellow, Doug Camilli, young fellow. He's about my age, you know, and I wouldn't dare face anybody else but a fellow like Doug. And uh, <laughs> he laid a few in there and uh, felt pretty good swinging. This is the first time you've uh, gone through with a bat for quite some time? Yes, I, I, I don't... I fool around with the club a little bit, you know, and hit a few to the infielders when uh, there's nobody around. And uh, right now, we are... Uh, we, we've sent uh, Billy Gardner and Bud Bots Nicola up to their regular farm team so that uh, uh, there's a couple of coaches missing so now I'm, I'm a little more active than I was a week ago. Well, Dom, I certainly want to thank you very much for being our guest here today and I want to wish you and your fine family all the luck in the world and good health for many, many years to come and your interest in baseball may it never wane. Thanks, Leo, and good luck to you. Thank you, Dom. This was an interview with Dom DiMaggio, former center field, star of the Boston Red Sox, now here at Winter Haven with the ball club, coaching the youngsters. And this brings us to the end of With Malice to Adnan. Until tomorrow at the same time, Leo Claudia from Winter Haven, Florida. Good day. Mm -hmm.